get the stuff quick. Is he dead? Move it. Like that kind of thing. Mm, I do. Not to your taste, Dempsey. Nah, looks like a fancy schmancy doormat. It's not meant for wiping your feet on. It's a prayer mat, and it's made of silk. Oh yeah. What's a thing like this go for? Well, depends where it was made and when. Look, I don't really know. I'm not that good. I wouldn't say that, but then I wouldn't know, right? Right. It seems like he was what it says in the book. Expatriate, Middle East, lived here for about a year, set himself up in the antique business. What's all that lot? Anything in there? Nothing to get squashed over. He was doing okay. He wasn't dealing the crown jewels, but uh, there must be a thousand guys like him in this town. Very good, Dempsey. Very far-sighted. Are they all carrying nine-millimeter Berettas around with them? These were found near the body. Now, does that suggest anything to either of you, given his background? Well, Berettas are a standard issue to security in Mr. Yassin's part of the world. Now, you're with me, Sergeant. Doesn't he seem less clean than he was? So you want us to start digging in that direction? Yes, I do, but I want it done with a feather. I don't want anyone spooked with badges or loud noises. Is that clear, Dempsey? I hear you, boss. I hear you. Well? Is it true? Yes, Colonel. Yasin is dead. He was found very early this morning in his storeroom. The police are very busy there. And the artifacts? They are missing. Yet they were delivered to him. Later than expected, but as arranged. In which case, they are not lost completely, merely astray. Should any such pieces arrive on the market, we will hear. I do hope so. This could jeopardize our whole organization. <laughs> you lunatic. That could have gone off. Is this all there was? Put that down. It's about ten grains with there. And what is it? It's Egyptian. For real. This stuff weighs a ton. What on earth is he doing with all this? Well, I'm thieving it, probably. I don't just let this sort of thing leave home now, you know. Well, how are we going to sell it? There's people who'll buy that just to lock it away. They'll pay a fortune just to look at it. There isn't a curse on it, is there? There's not going to be some mummy dressed in bandages bashing her way through the wall to get to her baby. Come on, let's pack this away. I want to get it down your place, out of sight. And then I want to get a camera, a Polaroid. What for? Well, I want to check it out. But I don't want to have to cart all this stuff around in case I get mugged. Present. 
Oh, you shouldn't have. We're going to do some uh, quick cramming on the antique business. Harry, I wouldn't know a Chippendale from a chipmunk. I don't think it's antiques anyway. I think it has to do with these old rugs. There's this carpet dealer. He comes up several times with these very large reimbursements. I think we should start with him. OK, well, I've given our cover some thought, and I'll be a professional lady showing you around London, and you do your usual brash American. I will decide my own cover, thank you very much. Well, would you mind telling me what it is? Nope. Just meet you at the carpet dealer's. Can't wait. Interesting. Very interesting, Mr. Scott. I can see why your client's been shy. A piece like this would attract a good deal of interest at a sale. It's worth between eight and ten thousand pounds. You say there's some glassware with this collection of the same date? It looks it to me, but then I don't have your expertise, naturally. The glass you mention, it's more valuable, is it? Considerably. Which could be an inducement to your client to authenticate. Yes, yeah, I think he could. Single examples of ancient glass can make a hundred thousand. I must apologize for the delay. Can't think what's happened to my client. Not very punctual, these Americans, are they? Hi, Miss Baker. So sorry, my traffic was abominable. Oh, that's lovely. My client, Mr. Dempsey. How do you do? How do you do? This is a Cachan. This one was woven by Mottersham himself. Huh. It's rather special, I think. Has this been near the door? I beg your pardon? No, oh, it's worn. It looks used. It's antique, Mr. Dempsey. That's part of its charm. Oh, I see. How big is it? Four feet, three inches by six feet, six inches, sir. Oh, that won't do. It has to be 13 feet, otherwise the boards will stick out along the sides. I'll look around. By all means, do, sir. Uh, Mr. Dempsey was rather impressed with prayer carpet that you found for an acquaintance of mine. Master Raud, you seen? Oh, yes. That was a Kashan, I think. Yes, signed with gold in the border. That's right. Yes, I remember. He was rather pleased with that himself. Uh, do you know him, then? Slightly. I'm just finding my way around in the business, actually. Oh, Miss Makepeace. Look at this one with these lovely birdies. How much is this? In the region of £7,000, sir. Uh, with shipping provided by us, of course. Oh, free shipping. Isn't that nice? Your American friend is collecting privately, I take it? Yes. I was hoping to put him in touch with Mr. Yassin's rather anonymous buyer. With a commission on any transaction that took place, of course. Do you think that's possible? Simon Redgrave is the man you want. If your friend isn't too scrupulous about certification, and as long as he's loaded. Oh, I can vouch for that. Oh! Look at this. Wouldn't this look divine in the jar? Well, did I get the butt or not? You were born for it, Dempsey. Yeah. Well, you won't bad yourself. What about Redgrave? I gave him a ring while you were doing your pièce de résistance about cutting the rug to fit the john. Yeah, I like that one myself. Now, did you get him? Yes, he's having lunch, but he says we're welcome to join him. His place? No. Somewhere where you'll feel very much at home in your nice cowboy boots. You're so right. This is home cooking. I've always said a hamburger is a sandwich dreaming, if you know what I mean. Oh, very good, Mr. Dempsey. Very droll. <laughs> I do like your friend, Miss Makepeace. And, um, what is it you want with me, sir? Mr. Dempsey would like to add to his collection in New York as a means of turning his cash into something more... Innocent? I'm very nouveau innocent. You're very waggish, Mr. Dempsey. Oh, huh. I'll say I've never been called that before. What you're looking for is a private sale, no record of the business on either side. A badly illegal transaction, in fact. That's precisely what we're looking for. Now, Mr. Yassin suggested that uh, you might be able to show us the way to it. Hmm. An interesting hypothesis. But from such an attractive pair, what a pity that I can't accommodate you just now. Well, it doesn't have to be immediate, as long as we know we're not wasting our time. Well, that rather depends on Mr. Yassin's good offices. Still, 
Nil Desperando, Mr. Dempsey. Perhaps we will talk again soon. It's been a real pleasure, Miss Bankbiz. Neil Desperandum? Isn't that the last album by the Eagles? <laughs> ah. Gov. What's all this? Survey of Yassin's business records. If you can call them records. What a mess. Uh, he set himself up two years ago. Went on a buying spree and built up a large amount of stock. Mm. Normal practice for a dealer, wouldn't you say? Yeah, the thing is, he hasn't sold a single item of that stock since he started. It would make a bit of a dent in your cash flow, wouldn't it? I certainly would go. Look at this. There were checks coming at irregular intervals. 10,000. 20,000. Untraceable. Yeah. So far, I've come up with 100,000 pounds worth. The whole business was a front, an elaborate cover. I think we may have turned up a real nest of vipers, Chaz. Said his name was James Scott, a dealer in objets d'art. Nothing else? No, he left in a hurry. Uh, rather wise in the circumstances, I would have thought. Oh. Why do you say that, Mr. Markham? I recognize the pieces, Rashid. I know where they come from. In fact, I've seen them in the flesh, so to speak, in your very own National Museum. Photographs can be deceptive. You must be mistaken. I don't make those sort of mistakes. They're not the finest examples of the period. Still, they are part of your national heritage. Or should I say, were. As you like. It would not help your position if this information were to become public. It would be disastrous. You have something, a point you wish to make? A business proposition. I think you have found a unique source of stock. Why not avail yourself of my services? Let me sell them for you. <laughs> you are not the best of dealers I have used in this city, but you certainly are the boldest. I like that. So we're in business again? Of course. You have told no one else? No. That in itself is worthy of an advance on your first commission. What shall we say? 10,000? Let's make it 50. guy is a bum. I can't believe that I bought him lunch. I'll tell you something. The only difference between your scum and ours is that yours talk better. They sound intelligent. But low life is low life. I don't care what you dress it like. Without low life, Dempsey, we'd be without jobs. Maybe, but I find it a little hard getting up for this case. I mean, who cares? One sleazeball kills another. So what? Strange attitude for a cop. Everybody has rights, Dempsey, and I would say murder is a serious violation of those rights. What is that? It's a clamp. Something we picked up from you, I think. I don't care where it came from. I want it off of there. Get on to Spy Kings. He can sort this out. See, now this is a serious violation of private property. Mine. Well, give what me do you that. do in New York? We give you a ticket, that's all. And it hits you where you really hurt, in your pocket. This, this is childish. Charlie 5 to control. Yo! Control to Charlie 5. Over. Chat. I got a serious problem here. I need your urgent assistance. Is this absolutely necessary? I'm tied up all afternoon and I've been flat out all day. Well, no, of course not. Not if it's that important. I'll be there in ten minutes. Look, I hope this isn't going to be untidy. Is what? Where are you? Over. We're outside Redgrave's place. You know what Dempsey's like. He just parks, gets out, and leaves it. 
I suppose we should feel grateful he didn't tie it to the railings and call it Trigger. There's been another murder. A dealer, name of Markham. A Beretta was used. Professional hit, over. Very. Eight piece. Looks like he's in a hurry. Back to you on that, over and out. What are we going to do? Well, I suggest we follow the guy. I'll get a cab. Don't bother. I'll give you a lift. Dempsey, don't be silly. This is an emergency. Mr. Yassin doesn't deliver as arranged. Penny anti dealer starts hawking antiquities from door to door. What do you make of that, Colonel? Yassin is dead. He was killed and robbed. The police have yet to release his name. But it seems that they have no knowledge of the artifacts. There is no reason why we should not complete our transaction. It seems rather pointless without the goods. I have the name of the thief. People are tracking him down now. Yes, well, I suggest they don't waste any time. The matter's already attracted too much attention. You have problems? No, not problems, exactly. I had lunch earlier with a very charming girl and a rather colourful man. They appeared to have met Yasin quite recently. The police? Oh, I hardly think so. Unless Her Majesty is taking a very different kind of recruit into the force. An intriguing situation. I myself and a mysterious American both desire your treasures, of which a third party is in possession. And what do you propose to do about it, Colonel? Unless he is a threat, the American is no concern of mine. And the antiquities will be recovered from this Mr. Scott very soon. Yes. Yes, I rather thought they would be. Strange man in the park? No, only you. You're the only strange man I know. Really? Your innocence turns me on. Your lack of it turns me off. So he's one of the untouchables, huh? Should we get that film to Spikings? Huh? Get Karim. Who are they? I suspect we'll find out very soon.
and no glowing in the dark. It's an embassy house. The gentleman in residence is called Colonel Rashid. Officially, he's in charge of their security arrangements. Odd company for Redgrave, wouldn't you say? You said officially. What else is there? There's an MI6 dossier on him. My contact can't get access to it. Oh, that's great. What's he afraid of? We'll sell it to the Sunday papers? Wouldn't be the first time. I said he couldn't get it. I didn't say I couldn't get it. Now, you two better check on Redgrave. What was No Neck talking to a security spook for, anyway? I figured a dead man is the link here. Yep. Yassin was up to something. Something that they killed him for. Now, Rashid was obviously using Yassin as a middleman with the antique business as a cover. Cover for what? We don't... We, we can't even look at Rashid's file without a note from the Queen. Well, Spikings will take care of that. Oh, does he know her? Okay, so we can't touch Rashid for the moment. Let's see what the old boyfriend network can do. Didn't know you had one. Who is he? Works at Sotheby's. You never know, he may be able to tell us something about Redgrave. That is what Spy Kings told us to do, remember? Mm, and you always do what you're told. You're such a good little copper. Tell me, Megpiece, do you ever let it hang out, you know, get wild, lose control? Never. Well, not in the office, anyway. Tell me where. I'll meet you any place. Morning. Surprised me. Only about a quarter of a million quid worth. That's all. Not if it's sold right, I'm not. I told you it was for real, didn't I? Yeah, about 250,000 pounds. You sure you're gonna handle it? Listen, for that sort of money, I'll give it a very serious try, believe me. Starting tomorrow, Bailey, you're looking at long years of graceful living. That's very useful, thank you. Yes, I'd love to. Mm, that'd be nice. Well, if I'm not, just leave a message on my machine. Okay, nice to speak to you. Bye, Julian. Bye, Julian. It's a nice name. Do you want to hear what he had to say, or shall I do it on my own? Oh, no, please. Every scintillating piece of verbiage. Well, it seems that a gentleman of dubious background has been trying to set up a meeting with one of Julian's assessors. Shall we check it out? By all means. There we go, then. Here's to being rich. I think I'll hang about and celebrate tonight. I've got the taste for it. Well, don't go shooting your mouth off. And keep that stuff locked up until I tell you different. Well, of course I will. What could I do with it? Play with it in the bath? I'll call you tomorrow. Now for Yasin. First, I ask you some questions. And perhaps you do not die. You understand? Now, let us hear of the antiquities that are missing and how you came to steal them. So, come on, did I hit it back there or what, Harry? About Redgrave? No, about Julian. Come on, you and Julie Boy ever make it together? I think Rashid must have set his sin up in business to smuggle stuff in for him. And Redgrave does the buying and selling. Okay, look, you don't want to kiss and tell? I can respect that. 
That way, Rashid keeps his nose clean until somebody kills Yassin. Somebody who didn't know what they were getting for their trouble. Dempsey, you're disgusting. Thank you. I swear it. That's all there is. Bailey got a chip off and he... Oh, she's got the stuff in a lock-up somewhere. That's all there is. Then we must speak with your friend also. As to yourself. I shall make an example to discourage others. Be merciful, Karim. Kill him quickly. Locked up. Not for long. It's coming. If I didn't, who'd look after you? for us. Truth, Harry. Did the earth move? So this is what he died for, is it? And very nearly yourselves. Pity it didn't occur to you to call for assistance before you decided to break into the place. For what? So somebody else get blown up? Here's some background on Scott from criminal records. What charges? Well, he's clean himself. But he stood bail for a guy called Mickey Bailey a couple of times. Said he employed him. Well, if everybody else is out of bounds, let's go talk to him. Now, Dempsey, you will ask him nicely, won't you? We don't want his reply from the hereafter. Was that a promise? Or was he just checking his gun? Get my foot inside the door. Don't stay in there doing routine inquiry stuff. Oh, I'll just watch what you nail into the wall, shall I? Don't tell me my job, Dempsey. Looks like we've been beaten to it again. This is getting to be a habit. But I guess they haven't got him, because if they did, he'd be here. A hole in his head. Do you know something? Hmm? 
I don't think they've got the antiquities either. I think Bailey has them, and he's hidden them somewhere. In that case, we better get to Bailey first. Mm hmm. Shall we knock on some doors? Right, George. Thanks. I owe you one. Bastards. Chance! Just go. MI6 have been under Rashid for months. They've been building a case on him, don't you know? Well, people get murdered. Precisely. Diplomatic immunity or no diplomatic immunity, I'm going to put a stop to Mr. Rashid's little operation. What is his operation? Raising funds to finance some crackpot terrorist group. You tell the others anybody working on this case is to be armed. I don't want any of my people gunned down by this lunatic. All right, Governor. A sad chain of events indeed. And a dangerous chain of events, Colonel. I do not need you to remind me, Mr. Redgrave. I have told you that Yassin's business with you shall be honored, as you agreed with him. Meaning that you still need the money? Well, I can certainly understand that. It's a considerable amount for an organization such as yours, isn't it? Buy you all sorts of things. Well, you shall have it, Colonel. Just as soon as I have what I want. What do you want Mickey Bailey for, then? That's my business. You know where he is? No, I don't know. Could be at his task flat, I suppose. He crashes with Vernon again. Where might that be? Next to the Nelson pub in Penarth Street. Thanks. It's the bottom bell. So what's with that hair, anyway? You swallow a grenade or something? something, don't see? All right, sunshine. How do you want it? Robbery with murder? The attempted murder of a police officer in the course of his duties? Or shall I just throw you back outside to end up in pieces like your friend? What do you want me to say? Every last word. Right now. Well, we know where they came from. We know where they stayed. So I'd say we got an edge. We have. And I intend to see we don't lose it. According to MI6, our Colonel Rashid would appear to be the motive force behind a network of terrorist cells stretching from here to Beirut and back. Funded by the antiquities. They're trying to find out his source of supply. They think it might be their national museum. You mean his own government is actually funding Rashid's activities? The way I see it, he's one of the untouchables political status and all that. Maybe not so untouchable. We know how much he wants the stuff back. Sooner or later, he's going to get it, with or without Bailey. And we're going to be there when he does. Chief, put me straight on protocol here, will you? What if these uh, diplomatic envoys start shooting at us? What do we do? Show them a green card? You behave like a police officer, Dempsey. Or at least one from New York. You shoot back. That's an order. 
There you are. Just what you've always wanted. Not quite. Charlie 2 to control. In position, over. Roger, Charlie 2. Maintain position until further orders. Over and out. That's the last of them, sir. The warehouse is now completely sealed off. We have three units ready to move in, and another three units to block access roads once Rashid arrives, or as backup as necessary. Good. Are they all well clear of the building? I don't want Rashid frightened off. Nobody is closer than a block away, sir, except Dempsey, of course. How reassuring. Rashid doesn't have a lot to lose if it comes to a shootout. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Hmm, but if it does... You'll need a bloody army to get out of there. Charlie, too. Sounds like he has got an army. That should make it interesting. When we move in, watch out for yourself. Could get a bit lively. Yes, sir. And remember, you're with me now, not Dempsey. No unnecessary risks. Give the order. Control to all units. Move in. Over and out. It's here! Nice and easy. Let's get up together. What do you want me to do, knit? I don't know what you're so worried about. It's just a scratch. 
They've been in there over an hour. It's a big scratch. Thought you were meant to wait for us. Now, don't you start. The chief gets hit right away. It's my fault. It just strikes me as more than coincidence that every time... Every time what? Excuse me. Every time you're around, World War Three explodes. You want to hear an explosion, lady? Excuse me. What? Sorry. You may see him now. He's lost a lot of blood. He's heavily sedated. Don't stay too long. Sleeping like a baby. Sir, it's Harry, sir. Can you hear me? Looks kind of cute. Can't imagine. A couple of days, we'll be back to his old grouchy yes, son of a... Uh... Hi, Chief. Feeling better? Fascinating tale you tell, Inspector. What a dangerous life you lead. I do hope that arm isn't painful. Letting you crawl back under your stone pains me more, Redgrave. That's it? That's all we do, just slap his wrist? <laughs> Leave him alone with me for five minutes. Really, Mr. Dempsey? You know I took you for a gangster. I wasn't very far wrong, was I? Until the next time, Redgrave. Oh, uh, we will be looking into Mr. Yassin's banking arrangements. Who knows what might come up, eh? Such a pity you can't stay for tea, Inspector. It's rather a nice old grey mixture. What you got there? Frankenthal porcelain. Quite rare. Can I say? Well, do be careful with that, won't you? It's 200 years old. That old? Whoa, wouldn't want to drop this. Mm -hmm.